gentlemen, I'm William Crow of the U.S. Treasury Department. I'm chairman of the Project Southeast Asia, or code name ESA. Before proceeding with the details of why we are here, introductions are in order. Johnny Duran, the Oriental Bank. Booker Griffith, Department of Foreign Affairs. Beck Kendall, Secret Service. James Metcalf, Central Intelligence. Mm -hmm. Project DSA refers to the whole of Southeast Asia. With Vietnam making a shambles of the area, political observers have coined the phrase, the domino theory. In other words, the fall of Vietnam may lead to the fall of other independent countries in this area. ESA is designed to stop the domino theory and to supply our allies within the territory sufficient resources to launch a counterattack. In the first phase of this operation, $15 million will be transferred to the Oriental Bank in Manila. The money will remain in the vault until you receive instructions from Metcalf concerning its transfer to its destination. Durant, you will be responsible for the money once it reaches the bank. Now, gentlemen, utmost secrecy is necessary for the success of this operation. Understand? Later, you will receive further instructions. Friends call me Wilbur. Simpson? What's your game? In this case is a quarter of a million dollars. And it's all yours. I don't get your point. It's very simple, Mr. Duran. Or may I call you Johnny? I like to be intimate with all my business associates. You see, our organization is aware of ESA. We also know that they plan to transfer $15 million to your bank. Now, we're interested in that money, and we're willing to pay you for your services. What do you say? I think you're nuts. Nuts? How can you call any person nuts who has a foolproof plan for requisition in $15 million? You've been used to money. You've been surrounded by it. Eight hours a day. What do you got now? A lousy $1,100.29. Oh, don't look so worried. We've checked. When you make your decision tomorrow, here's my card. Give me a call. Good day, Mr. Duran. Pardon me. Johnny. you'd like our offer. I'll meet you today at 3 p.m. in Long Beach at the foot of 62nd Street, just in front of the Bay Yacht Club. I'll fill you in on the details later, okay? Dig you later, Johnny.
One thing I can say, Simpson, you do have a unique lifestyle. How many people have their offices on a yacht? Very few. We both work for big organizations. The difference between me and you is that I make more money than you do. Rocky, my main man, has in his fire and in his head more than 500 names. He knows the size of their bank accounts, the time of day when they take a, take a crap. He's a very important man in our setup. Yeah, but where does the uh, foolproof idea come in? That's the key to my participation, and I don't want to get caught. <laughs> the men actually performing the job are blind. Blind? <laughs> now I know you're nuts. How can blind guys rob a bank? Now I've heard everything. That's the key to the foolproof idea. Who ever heard of blind men heisting up the bank? Why, well, you'd be surprised what a person can do with just a sense of touch and a sense of sound. Why, well, my man Rocky tells me that these blind cats can do more than anyone you ever seen with sight. You know the mastermind of this heist, and you better start making plans to execute it. Okay, you've convinced me. Now, who are the guys that are going to pull the job? Show him, Rocky. That's Willie Black, the former mobster. He was blinded by the syndicate when he cheated them out of a million dollars. They put a hit out on him, but it failed. They managed to blind him. What's happening, man? We're teaching Willie Black the lesson. You, Willie Black? Yeah. Hit him.
You gentlemen looking for pleasure? No, business. My boss needs you for a very important job. Can it be more fun than selling a piece of ass? Not exactly, but uh, more money. Okay, I'm listening.
happy with your earnings as a blind trainer? Yes, but it's just enough. Why? I'll offer you a job doing the same thing. You'll train blind guys. I'll give you one hundred thousand dollars. A hundred thousand dollars? That's too much. Is it something special? Yes. To train them to rob a bank. Rob a bank? That's impossible, Mr. Duran. Not if you cooperate. And remember, the sum of one hundred thousand dollars. It's a big chance for you. invited each of us here for an important job. If successfully executed, it'll make us all rich. Do I hear any objections? Huh. Anybody here object to being rich? I don't hear any objections. You see any hands, Sally? All right, let's get on with it. So it's safe to proceed. The execution of this project will take timing, skill, and hours of rehearsal. There is in the vault of the Oriental Bank 15 million US dollars. That money is in transit for some big project in Southeast Asia. It will remain in the vault until February 15th, three weeks from now. What's in it for us? Approximately quarter million apiece. Training sessions begin as soon as we're settled. Oh, yeah? And who's going to train us? I will. <laughs> <laughs> 
Afternoon, sir. Uh, Mr. Miranda. Mr. Nelson. How is the security here? Well, we keep it as tight as possible, sir. Don't worry. The money's very safe. Are you sure? Quite sure. Very good. Insult me, get out. No, that's not my purpose. I've been watching you. I'll offer you money in exchange for a job. We'll rob a bank and split more than a million dollars among ourselves. Shit. Can't you see I'm blind? We'll make it appear that you can see. That way, the authorities won't have the slightest idea that you're involved. Is that the real reason? Or is it because you want to be sure if I get caught? I won't be able to pinpoint anybody because I'm blind. You're really bright. But just the same, even if you don't agree. Take this. That could change your mind.
disconnect the vault alarm. We have chosen all of you because you have learned to function without the privilege of sight. And besides, no one would ever suspect five blind men holding up a bank. All of your shoes will be fitted with a metal plate. Any sound that is not one of ours may be a guard reaching for a gun or an employee reaching for an alarm button. In other words, any unfamiliar sound, you shoot. By the way, with the exception of Ben, who has to keep his daily routine out in the streets, no one else is allowed to leave this house. Let's begin by synchronizing your braille watches. Trigger off the alarm. 
At exactly two minutes after five, Ben will disconnect that alarm. That's the time for you to turn it. This switch is a connection to the automatic lock. The first thing you do is turn this off to unlock the vault. From this comes a current for the alarm. And this is the connection to the alarm. You have to pull off this wire to prevent the alarm from going off. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, Wang, you missed the table. Let's try it once more, okay? an overseas call to Manila. Number, please. 48927. One moment. Duran speaking. Hello, Duran. I thought you were going to call next week. I'll be there on the 10th. We're doing okay. They're still a little rough around the edges, but it'll be ironed out with a little more practice. Have you seen Big John? Over there. ready for you by the chin. Okay now. Find your way without using a cane.
Mind your own business. There's enough for everybody. Please don't fight. Please. All right, Willie. Get out of this room. Okay. Just remember, I warmed up for you. Okay, let's begin the target practice.
two cents in Chinese horse manure for your life. Can you fix it, ma'am? It shouldn't take long, Sarge. It's nothing serious. Okay, ma'am. Thank you, officer.
Captain Maria, Special Division. I'm Mr. Fernandez, President of the bank. Well, tell me what happened. There was a robbery here. They got away with $15 million. $15 million? Anyone here witnessed the robbery? Yes, Mr. Miranda. I'm the manager of the bank. Then you should be able to recognize the criminals. I think they were foreign. gentlemen. Sir, we found this cane in the vicinity of the bank. A blind man's cane. Yes, sir. According to the bank manager, he noticed something peculiar, weird, about the bank robbers. Do you suppose they're blind? It's totally impossible. How can blind guys rob a bank? So far, it's the only clue we have. Aside from the report, that they're all foreigners. All right. We'll pick it up from there. Check with the Bureau of Immigration. Hello? Hello, Johnny. I told you not to call here. But the guys are getting edgy. I don't give a damn what the guys think. They're panicking, can't you see? They're threatening to leave, Johnny. You've got to do something. Damn it. Get the box. And I don't want you to call here again. I'll get in touch at the right time. Sir, we have checked all our hotels and no blind men has registered in the past year. There is in my files a former criminal named Ben Gavar. He is now blind. Find out where he is. Avoid any suspicion. We had better leave separately. Here are six tickets. You have been booked on a later flight to Los Angeles. What about the money? We want our share. <laughs> Don't worry. As you remember, uh, I'll meet you in Los Angeles, and then we'll divide the loot there. I don't think they'll settle for that answer. You know words are not enough. All right. I'll take one half of the loot, and you take the other half with you. Okay? certain you are one of the men involved in the holdup. Now, we'd like you to tell us who your companions were and who the mastermind is. We believe you shouldn't have to suffer alone for a crime that others are involved in. Ben, we'd, um, we'd like you to be a witness for the state, if you're willing to cooperate with us. And if you do, we'll help you as much as we can. We don't make any promises, but we'll do what we can do for you. Now, we know there are foreigners involved in this case, and we'd appreciate it if you could tell us who they are. All right. They are Willie Black, Wang, Anderson, and Hector Lopez. Who's your mastermind? I don't know. I was not able to touch him. I never even heard his voice. All I know is we were trained by a woman named Sally. Do you have any idea how we can find him? I might be able to locate our training area if we just start from my house. 
I can't assure you, but I'll try. This is the house. You mean you can tell this is the house by touching it? units, calling all units, 
Block all roads leading to the airport. Repeat, block all roads leading to the airport.
Here's the list. Sunset Orange Hotel, room number seven. Good. I'll have my man pick you up in about 30 minutes. And we'll meet later. He knows where. Okay.